Saul are all smiles here tonight. They win by final 47-35 after a three, I guess you could say a three-week layoff on the road. They're back at home for the next two games, and they go at least one for one with a nice win over the winless Columbus Destroyers. Coach Clint Dolzell, it's good to have you back here on the Voice of Reason Network. Congratulations on this win, and tell us about what this uh, means to you. Six touchdown night for Dan Rodemont. Just seemed like uh, this place was certainly at its best. It was. The uh, fans were great tonight. Uh, they came out and supported us. They were loud. I mean, they did a great job, uh, and it carries us. Anytime we can get the, the home crowd into it, we can thrive off that, feed off of the energy that they're putting out. And Dan did play well. Um, he had one drive where he, he missed a few throws, but besides that, I mean, he put the spot on. He, he did a great job commanding the huddle out there and getting the guys going. Traffic uh, complications for me, so when I got here a little late, but I was able to get here just in time. This defense was definitely at its best. The pick six by James Romain. You feel like that really uh, set the tone that first Sure, quarter? sure. I mean, I, we're really tough to beat when we start fast. If teams got to chase us, uh, then everything on both sides of the ball, it, it makes it so much easier as far as play calling. We, we can kind of pick our battles when we want to, and I thought we did a really good job of that and made the plays when we were supposed to. Yeah, they made a few on us, but uh, you know, without those, uh, we really could have put it on them. Can you tell us about what's been going on over the last three weeks? It just seems that uh, there's been some kind of tough emotional type of losses. Uh, what do you think was the problem there, and how, how's that going to translate uh, when you play here at least for the rest of the month of June? Well, I think a lot of it's personnel, too. I mean, we, we, we've, we've really been injured. We've got a lot of young guys who are still learning the game. Um, you know, had some injuries in certain spots that really, you know, hurt us. So, combination of that and this, you know, not playing well, not making plays when they're put in front of us. Um, now that we've we kind of got that tonight, I mean, it was a lot of big plays. You feel plays like you were us. doing that a lot tonight. Yeah, we were, and, yeah. and, and that's what we got to have. You know, I know they're a young team starting out, but they had a lot of veterans on that defensive side, and man, we did a great job of protecting Dan. That was their best. Uh, their their pass rush is one of the best in the league, so I was pleased with that. Yeah, the receiving core was definitely at its best, including one name that I well, I guess you could say there's three of them. One is the Prince, one is an outlaw, and another one is a BJ. I'm talking about BJ Bond. Your thoughts on him tonight? Yeah, BJ, we, we, we expect that from BJ. No one's really known about BJ. Uh, he just hadn't had a lot of you know chances to get out there and perform us because we have a lot of veterans in front of him. We had some injuries that uh, allowed him to you know get in there tonight and start. And, I mean, you got to see Bun at, at his at his peak. He's a very good yak guy. You know, once we get the ball in his hands, he's tough. Yeah. Now you're uh, playing next week at home, and that team, I believe, is the uh, is it Washington or is it? Uh, Your guess is good. My, I'm just one game at a time, buddy. That's what we're it's to, either AC or Washington. That's what I was going to say. Back games. But it is the next three games. You'll be back here again at the Wells Fargo Center. Should be a very nice uh, crowd. Uh, your thoughts going into to the rest of the month, and really, again, we're just about a month before the season ends of the playoffs start. What's your thoughts? Yeah, we're we're at the halfway point. Uh, we're three and three. Uh, not exactly where we want to be, but you know, it's just all about peaking at the right time. I think we started something that you know maybe we could get on a roll with. So get some key pieces, you know, healthy. That's a big part of it too. And we're still a, a piece or two away from really, you know, taking off. But I think that, well, tonight was a step in the right direction. Well, it couldn't have been at a better time. Jake Schwartz again here at the Wells Fargo Center with sole head coach, Clint Coach, congratulations. Appreciate it, buddy.